Hello, my name is Cayman, and in today's video, I'll show you how to build a overworld XP farm. Now, let me show you how this farm actually works. So, let's go in here and flick this lever to turn the clock on. You can also use a hopper clock up here. Totally up to you. But yeah, this seems to work quite nicely. So, and the mobs are dropping down. Loads of mobs. And yeah, as you can see, we get lots of XP. Right now, we are at Y44 the height, I mean. So, this mob farm is quite fast, and because we are in a super flat world, no monsters can spawn inside caves, and basically that's the only place where the mobs can spawn as of right now. Which means, if you want to build this in survival world, you will have to light up every single cave around 128 blocks radius in every single direction. So yeah, it's quite a lot, it is quite a lot, but I'd say it's worth it. But you can also build it above, high in the sky, like this one in here. As you can see, there's not as many mobs as there was in the last one, but it's still worth it, I think. It's still quite fast, and I'd say that it's still quite efficient as well. Either build a farm high above, in here like this, or say, build it on top of the grass, down here, and light up every single cave in 128 block radius. So yeah, which one is easier? I think... Building it up there is easier. But yeah, it's still your call. But if you decide to build it high above in here, just keep in mind that two stacks of blocks is exactly 128 blocks. So yeah, go 128 blocks above the ground surface and build the design, and you should be okay. And if you want to make this bubble elevator, I mean, it's quite simple. Water, solo sand, and some kelp, and boom. Have yourself a awesome bubble elevator. But yeah, let's go back to the super flat world. And here are some of the items you need for the build. Loads of building blocks and loads of slabs. You can use any building block or slab type you want to. For example, cobblestone, stone, smooth stone. Everything works. Six observers, seven dispensers, nine hoppers and two chests. One lever, one redstone comparator, 24 redstone repeaters and three pieces of redstone dust. 6 packs of water, also 2 extra pockets, and an infinite water source. I will show you how to do this later. Then some torches would be useful, a sword, and some scaffolding maybe. It's up to you, you can use like dirt or planks as a scaffolding as well, but scaffolding is kinda nice. Now let's build that exact same farm in here. So let's start by placing down 2 chests, then take out your hoppers and crowns, or likely the chest and the hoppers so they will connect. Like so. Then one row on this side, and the third row in here. Amazing. Then place some slabs on top. Again, crowns so you don't accidentally open the hopper. Okay, nice. Then a smooth stone or any pillar block around in here. All the way around. And then we have to go 22 blocks up, counting from this slab. So let's place a block in here and do this first. Go around, and that's basically going to be the killing area. You can take out some torches, go up here, and place them on each corner. So no mobs can spawn on these blocks. Same thing around in here. Place some torches around here, so you don't get an awful surprise when you are done with your farm. And then, 22 blocks up, pounding from this spot. So 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Now you can go down, and because you are in survival mode, the easiest way to get down is to take out a bucket of water. Place it in here. Wait for a while. Then break the source block. And then just basically go down, like this. Yeah, quite simple, am I right? So yeah, that's 22 blocks high. Now, just build these sides all the way up, except for these corners. And then, we are done with the first part. And now, go up here, and every single middle block, let's go 8 blocks out. On the front this block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Same thing in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the same thing in here. Now take out some slabs and connect these together, like so. And 
now we need to build the sides up all the way around this platform. You can skip the corners to save blocks. Then let's go to the middle in here and place three blocks out each side. Same thing in here. In there and then in there. And right there. Now we have to build the sides up one more round. But in here, we need to go out one more block. So we get this. Like that. We have to build this on all the sides. And why did we build these things on here? It's because the spawning platforms are diagonal shaped. So, the spiders might fall down in here on this block. That's why we went one more block out. When the spider drops down here, water will pull it or push it down in here. So basically, this prevents spider overflow. Now on each corner, place seven blocks like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing in here. Then place some blocks like that, and there's water on top. Water almost reaches all the way in there. You can break these blocks if you want to, but you don't have to. But I will break them in here for now, because I think it looks better. Do the same thing on each corner, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Then connect these together. And place water on top. Amazing. And once you have done that on all of the corners, let's place our water in here. And by the way, if you need that unlimited water source, fill it outside in here. Just four blocks, square, and place water in here. And here you can refill your bucket. But remember to remove this later when you are done with water placement. Then, yeah, water, tear, all three blocks. As you can see, it doesn't flow down. Same thing in here. Three buckets of water, three buckets of water, and three buckets of water. Amazing. And now all the waters will be placed. So refill all of your buckets and remove this thing. Now we are almost done. Now we just need to place some slabs above these sides. So no mobs can spawn in here. And once you have done that, let's continue to the spawn platforms. Now take out your building blocks, your slabs, your observers and your dispensers. Put the middle in here and place a block there. Then go two blocks up with your building blocks and place a dispenser on top. Then break the blocks. Then go on top of your dispenser. You can scaffold yourself up with some building blocks. Just remember to break them. Okay, take out the slabs and go seven blocks each direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven blocks each side. Also, place the slabs the top half of the dispenser. If you place them in here, the monsters won't spawn. So top half slabs. Now you should have this cross-shaped thing. So go here and connect this together and make a diagonal shape. Do this on all of these sides. First platform done. Then up here. Two blocks up and a dispenser once again. Break the blocks, route and right click the dispenser so the observer will face up there. Like that. So if you break this one, we can see that the observer is pointing face up. Then take out a water bucket and place the water bucket inside in here. Now if we activate this observer, water will go out and go back in. Amazing. Now to the second layer or platform. Same thing, seven blocks each side and then connect these once again, two blocks up, dispenser, break the blocks and a observer pointing up. Now let's take out a water bucket and place the water in here on top of the dispenser. Crouch and place it in there. 
Inside the dispenser, let's place a empty bucket. No water, water, and so on. If you do this, ops can spawn all the time. Which is what we want. Now once again, we have water. Place some blocks down. Scaffold yourself up on top of the dispenser. Break the blocks. And you are done. With the second layer or platform. Then continue the third one. And then the water. I mean the water pocket goes inside the dispenser. Two blocks up. Dispenser. Observer. And then continue. Now repeat the same thing three times so you have six platforms. And I'll show you what to do then. Now we have done all the six layers. Let's go to the top one. Once again, two blocks. Dispenser. And below here goes a observer. But inside this dispenser, do not place any water, please. That will ruin your farm. But in this one, you can still can you still can place your water. So yeah, up here goes a water bucket. An empty bucket inside. Awesome. Now scaffold yourself up on top of that dispenser once again. Break the blocks and then place the slabs on the bottom half of the dispenser this time. Because this will be the roof of this farm and we don't want any monsters to spawn up here during nights. So go 15 blocks each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Same thing on all of the sides. And once you have done that, connect everything together once again. Alright, we are done. Almost. Almost done. Mobs are spawning already, which is nice. And we just need to go up here. Take out some slabs, then some repeaters, comparators, redstone dust, and a lever. Also, a regular building block would be nice. So just place some blocks around here. Like that. And then a smooth stone block or any building block goes here. Place a slab above so no mobs can spawn on top of it. Lever goes here and then a redstone comparator goes in here. It's two torches pointing into that block. That's important. Then right click it once so it lights up. Place 24 repeaters down. So 12 each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then in here, let's place redstone dust. Now just place some repeaters on this side as well. And make sure every repeater is set to 4 ticks. Amazing. Now we can do a test run. But before that, make sure every single repeater is set to 4 ticks. Comparator, comparator's torch is on. And then just pick the lever. And it should start again. Yes, indeed. Now, you see some mobs there. Dropping down. And it seems to be working quite nicely. Mobs are falling down. I'll set a timer to 5 minutes right now. And let's see how much XP we can get in 5 minutes. So if you build this in your survival world. At Y44. And light up every single cave around you. In 128 block radius. You can expect 31 levels. So let's say 30 levels in 5 minutes at Y44. If every single cave around you is lit up. Now let's see how much XP we can get if we build it high above in the sky. So in 5 minutes of AFK up here, we got 18 levels, which is not bad in my opinion. Of course, it's a lot more or less than we got with one before, but 18 levels in 5 minutes is not bad at all. But yeah, this was the overworld mob slash XP grinder. And yeah, it's not too bad, I gotta say. It works quite nicely. Of course, the Enderman XP farm and such, they are a lot more efficient. But yeah, if you liked this tutorial, let me know down in the comments. 
And why not hit the like button? Also, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. My name is Kamen. Bye bye.